jamais les premiers, à jamais les premiers. Tout Marseille sait de quoi je parle, les gars, à jamais les premiers. Bon, anyways, I just arrived in Marseille and uh, what a journey it's been, wonderful. I really love the train, it went so fast and all the stuff, so I'm very happy to be here for the big clash between uh, uh, OM, Olympique de Marseille, and Benfica Lisbon. And uh, can you imagine, it's like 10 a.m., the train was full of Marseille supporters. Uh, I just took my time to sleep, but uh, I love it already, it was amazing. Wow, first time ever coming here. And oh shit, it's pretty windy. It's pretty windy. Thank God I took my jacket. <laughs> I was thinking I would come without, but uh, wow, it's beautiful. Lots of mountains and all this stuff. Wow. Oh, that's great. Nice. But windy. Oh la la. I am impressed. It's beautiful. Look at the water. It's blue. Blue water, completely blue. This is not like Zandvoort or Scheveningen in the Netherlands. Goodness me. With my glasses, it looks green, but it's beautiful. Wow. This is, uh, they say, Le Vieux Port de Marseille. Very beautiful. Yes. Wow! Allez l'OM! Le peuple marseillais, les fans de l'OM! Premièrement, je tenais à vous dire, j'adore votre ville, elle est superbe, ça fait que deux heures que je suis ici, je l'adore. Deuxièmement, ce stade, le Vélodrome, je l'adore déjà. L'ambiance, toujours au top. Et finalement, à jamais les premiers, à jamais les premiers, allez loin. Mais bon, j'espère que vous parlez anglais, moi c'est Kalunga, c'est la première fois que je viens en Marseille. J'espère que vous parlez anglais, parce que mes vidéos, moi je les fais en anglais. Donc, euh, je vais essayer de switch parfois et de vous parler en français mais le préférable pour moi c'est l'anglais mais bon bon match ce soir et plein de bonnes choses allez l'OM allez l'OM allez l'OM <laughs> ah Marseille Benfica what a game it is but first of all I'm a little bit surprised by the location of the stadium I was thinking like uh, it was completely outside of the city center it doesn't matter at the end, but because it's in the city center, you don't really get the chance to see it properly. Let's say, for the best example, my favorite stadium in the Netherlands, the Kaip. When you arrive, you can really see the stadium properly. But here you got some buildings in and there, and uh, you know, but I'm still enjoying it. Why did I actually choose to come to Marseille today? Because it's kind of a rivalry between Marseille and uh, Benfica. Uh, it started in 1990 when uh, Marseille got knocked out by Benfica in the semi-finals of the Champions League in a controversial way. That uh, the first leg was 2-1 in here in Marseille and the second leg was 1-0 in Benfica. But Benfica did kind of steal the game for Marseille. That even the president at the time, Bernard Tapie, said. Now I know how to win the Champions League or the Europa League, the Euro an, uh, European competition. So if you know what I mean, you can understand uh, easily. And uh, in fact, two years later, uh, Marseille won the Champions League uh, against the big Milan, you know, uh, the Baresi, Gullit, Van Basten, Rijkaard, all the stuff. Uh, Marseille won it 1-0 with a beautiful goal ahead from Basil Boli and Marseille has never knocked Benfica out of an European competition as I just said the Champions League the semi-finals but they met again in 2010 in the Europa League round of 16 and Master still lost that game so it's gonna change today it's gonna change today I believe it's gonna change today 
Uh, the first leg wasn't good, not a good result. Marseille lost 2-1. But uh, there are no away goals anymore. But I think, yeah, Loem is going to win this game. Uh, I'm in the Marseille fan shop. I was looking actually for the score of Marseille against Benfica, but the guy just in behind me told me they don't do it anymore. So maybe I can find one outside, just like a souvenir, but they don't do it. So that's pretty, I'm pretty disappointed, but beautiful, beautiful stuff. I want that score of OM Benfica. I'm disappointed that I couldn't find a scarf when Benfica and uh, I'm happy I'm a Congolese guy and uh, Chancel Mbemba our defender who brought us to the semi-finals of the last AFCON uh, African Cup of Nations so I'm not, I thought he was injured but I hope he's gonna play and if he scores I'll go mad I will literally go mad if Chancel Mbemba scores tonight Woo! But uh, I'm excited. Maybe I'm gonna take something to, to eat and uh, drink as well. Rest a little bit and around seven. No, seven is too late. Around five, I will come back to the velodrome. See you guys later. Woo -hoo -hoo. We are four hours before kickoff and things are starting to change the landscape it's busy lots of police lots of marseille fans too i can't believe it i was here like three hours ago and it was completely empty i went to take my water and uh, now i come back it's full wow oh my goodness what did i get myself into i feel so unsafe in this place I don't even know what to look. I feel like at some point, Aleluam, I feel like at some point it's just gonna explode. I don't know. I feel I got some adrenaline, I don't know, goosebumps and all this stuff. Oh my goodness, what happened just within three hours? No, look at this. Like four hours before kickoff, the gates are not even open yet. Look at this. This place anymore. I'm not going anywhere. Once the gates are open, I'm going inside the stadium because otherwise I'm gonna miss it. 70,000 Marseille are here for this game, this quarterfinal, and I'm impressed and I love it. Oh, I, I think the gates are open now. Look at people running over there. I think the gates are open now.
safe and I'm happy. I easily made it through the security gate, so I took my jacket off just to make it quick. And, uh, I'm inside and I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to this game. I have never been so early in a football stadium, but uh, it's worth it because outside it's crazy. If I get
I love this game. Adventure game. 